text is the 23rd verse of today's gospel. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, our season of Advent preparation continues on this fourth Sunday. The season of Advent is about hope. Hope that God is intimately involved with creation. We seek a sign that God cares for us and for all creation. And we hear the good news today that God gives us a sign. For when the time is right, God sends hope in the form of a person, Jesus. Comic strip characters Calvin and Hobbes are contemplating life's deeper issues. Calvin asks his stuffed toy tiger Hobbes, do you know where you come from? Before answering, Hobbes checks the label in Calvin shirt and says, well, you come from Taiwan. <laughs> now here in the South, when we meet people, especially new folks, our first question is usually, where are you from? And the second is likened to it, who are your people? Matthew opens his gospel account by introducing us to Jesus' people. 17 verses of, gen of uh, genealogy trace Jesus' lineage clear back to Abraham, 42 names in all. After all this genealogical tracing, St. Matthew proclaims that Jesus is here. The long-awaited Messiah has arrived. The Anointed One has come to save. Today's gospel opens, now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. It goes on to say that Jesus was born into a human family, that Joseph is the husband and Mary the wife and mother. He's conceived by the Holy Spirit. The Christ child has both divine and human origins. We seek a sign that God cares for all creation, and Matthew says, Look, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. God's way of bringing hope is personal. Through the gift of God's own Son, with us then and with us now, for the life of of the world. God's Son Jesus was born of Mary over 2,000 years ago, and since then each culture and generation has seen Jesus in a different light. Over the years, Jesus has been pictured as a temperance advocate, an urban reformer, a socialist comrade, an evolutionary theorist, even a psychotherapist. Harriet Beecher Stowe wrote a biography depicting Jesus as a reforming visionary in the treatment of women. In 1917, the United States entered World War I, and a New York preacher called Jesus the greatest fighter the world has ever known. During the 60s in Detroit, the Reverend Albert Klee cast Jesus as a black messiah, a revolutionary black leader, a zealot seeking to lead a black nation to freedom. We have Jesus Christ Superstar and Hannah Wolf's Jesus the Therapist. There's even a book that has Jesus marrying Mary Magdalene. Among other things, all of this tells us that Jesus maintains a strong hold on people as each generation struggles with the meaning of his presence and his influence. 
We ask for a sign, and God gives us his sign. God's way of bringing hope to creation is personal. Jesus was born in a manger. He grew up in Nazareth. He ministered in Galilee. He died and he rose again from a grave outside of Jerusalem and he ascended into heaven. But the truth is that Jesus is still as fully with us today as he was over 2,000 years ago. Albert Schweitzer, writing in the quest for the historical Jesus, puts it like this. He comes to us as one unknown, without a name, as of old, by the lakeside he came to those who knew him not. He speaks to us the same word, follow thou me, and sets us to the tasks he calls for us to fulfill in our time. He commands, and to those who obey him, whether they be wise or simple, he will reveal himself in the toils, the conflicts, the sufferings which they shall pass through in his fellowship, and as an ineffable mystery, they shall learn in their own experience who he is. A popular religious song asks, Have you seen Jesus, my Lord? And then goes on to proclaim, He's here in plain view. Take a look. Open your eyes. He'll show life to you. Where was Jesus on September the 11th, 2001? Perhaps you've seen that artist rendering of Jesus with outstretched arms embracing both of the twin towers of the World Trade Center. Jesus was on the 110th floor with the man who called his wife to say, Honey, I'm not going to make it, but it's okay. I'm ready to go. And Jesus was at the base of that building with the priest who lost his life ministering to the injured and the devastated souls. See, both Paul's and Jesus' notion of faith is confidence or trust that God cares about what's happening right now. Faith is not affirming a creed, yet many Christians have whittled faith down to that. Such faith doesn't usually change our hearts or our lifestyles. God can only be loved and known in acts of love. Following today's announcements and in anticipation of the offering, hear anew that very invitation. Walk in love as Christ has loved us and gave himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God. Give us a sign. The life that Jesus shows is the relief of suffering and the concern for the weak and the helpless. The beggar seeking food, the child in ragged clothes, the family in the homeless shelter, the refugee seeking asylum. The life that Jesus shows is a thirst for human rights and freedom, a challenge to ignorance, inspiration for great music and art and architecture and literature. The life that Jesus shows is a move to more sensitive and concerned moral living, an attack on evils like racial prejudice, war, and human exploitation. Give us a sign. And Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Lives continue to be changed as people experience the truth of these words and make their life decisions based upon them. 
It's as if God reaches out into the manger and takes the child and hands Jesus to us. We ask for a sign and God gives us his son, all of us for whom his body is broken and his blood is shed, all of us whose sin is drowned in the baptismal bath, all of us who receive the bread of heaven and the cup of salvation at this table, all of us who experience this grace upon grace. So here's the rub. For Christmas, God gives you Jesus. The question is, what are you going to do with this gift? 